Once upon a time, there was a city called Burbank. Where I was born. Where I was raised. Where I moved to. Where we joined the service. Where we started our business. Where, where we, we keep, keep the streets safe. Where we play. Where we live. Where I learn about the world. Where, where we, we fell in love. love. Where I play the devil on TV. Where I go hiking. Where I became mayor. We all have our stories to tell and Burbank is full of storytellers, each and every one of us. It's where we create our stories through film, television, animation, music, our businesses, and our families. Burbank is the home of our stories and our lives. Dr. David Burbank began our city's story, and it's up to us to write the next chapter, to keep the words flowing for our future and for the future of our children. One institution committed to the well-being of Burbank's future is Providence St. Joseph Medical Center, founded by the Sisters of Providence in 1943. The Sisters of Providence came here over 70, almost 75 years ago to respond to the needs of the time. And over the past seven decades, we have grown to do the same. And we'll continue to be here and provide compassionate care for generations to come. We really focus on whole person care, caring for the mind, body, and spirit. And it is our intent to fulfill our promise to our patients to know me, care for me, and ease my way. And that's just one example of how we do that. St. Joe's is the second largest hospital serving the San Fernando and Santa Clarita Valleys and is home to the state-of-the-art Roy and Patricia Disney Family Cancer Center. About 10 years ago, we envisioned creating a comprehensive cancer center, one of the only ones, or the only one, in the valley. And so coming together with the city, with the community, with other like-minded individuals to truly put something special together where we're caring for the whole person, mind, body, and spirit, is really what we envision for the Disney Family Cancer Center. We provide extraordinary care with the latest technology. It's in such a way with compassion and dignity in providing for those needs of our patients. In addition to the Disney Cancer Center, St. Joe's is known for its excellent work in neurosciences and stroke care, and also has a leading edge maternity ward where many Burbankers began their life stories. We deliver nearly 2,400 babies a year at this hospital. I am always touched by the stories of our families who have had their babies here, or even when we meet somebody who has had their grandchildren here and their children here. It really is something very special. Some Burbank stories started a world away and had to overcome great hardships, such as the wildly popular Porto's Bakery. So my name is Beatrice Porto, they call me Betty, and I'm one of the Porto's family, obviously, and my parents are the ones that are responsible for what you see nowadays, it was their dream, their passion, and their hard work. They came from Cuba to the United States looking for freedom. It took us eight years to get out of Cuba. My mom was without a job. My dad was making $180. They took him to a concentration camp where he was kept away from us and her struggle began in order for us to survive. So she started making cakes at home illegally because the government didn't care whether we ate or not. We were the enemy of the state. If we died, they didn't care. Our house got raided many times, but we had neighbors that were great neighbors and they told us that the secret police was coming and we'd hide everything next door she was never caught, but it would have been 25 years in jail. The family's tenaciousness in Cuba allowed them to survive, but in America, it's what propelled them to thrive. Customer can taste the quality of, on, on everything that we do. And that was all because my mother was a dictator when it came to recipes and the kitchen. It was always the best, or she wouldn't put up with it. She would destroy a cake in front of my eyes because the decorator this didn't do the right job. So it was always perfection. And I think we had that drilling to us for like 25 years. So thank God, we, after all that, we were not that dumb. We got it. The Porto children continued their mother's story, bringing people together one potato ball at a time. I invite you to come here on any given day 
to the store and you see it, we're the United Nations. The greatest thing about food is brings people together. It really doesn't create barriers, it opens people's eyes about other people and so nobody's ever uh, complained about Cuban food and they come from all over the world. Nobody complains about potato balls. Burbank isn't just a city of stories, it's a city of professional storytellers whose voices are heard and seen around the world. Cartoon Network Studios creates fresh, original animation for Cartoon Network and Adult Swim. Our programs, our shows, our series are all creator-driven. And as a result of being creator-driven, nearly every program, we, I would say every, every production that we do, every, every series that we do, is it comes from a very authentic place. And I think the fact that we're able to create programming that comes from an authentic place, that comes from a creator who brings forth kind of their own experiences in life and creates programming that everyone can relate to. <laughs> Cartoon Network Studios currently has 450 employees. By 2019, they expect to grow to over 600 and they're hoping Burbank grows with them. But what I would say is going forward, it would be, it would be terrific to see more housing coming up in Burbank. We have many, many employees that I know would, would consider housing here if there were more options, but at the moment, things seem to be a little bit limited and I think it'd be terrific to have more options in the housing. Ah! This city has always been a home to storytellers, but Burbank is more than that. It's a partner and a co-writer. They absolutely help us tell our story by being who they are, by being a city that is sort of grounded and historically founded in entertainment, and uh, not the least of which is animation when you think about the Disney studio and the Warner Brothers studio. And as being part of the city, you become part of that history and you become part of that story. Everyone has a story to tell, but it's how we share our stories with one another and how we contribute to the stories of friends and neighbors and even strangers that help us grow the story of our community and our city. Burbank's story is an anthology of our lives and our dreams. We all have something wonderful to contribute and collectively we get to write Burbank's future. I hope you'll join us in writing a fabulous story together.